Mr. Robin Williams. Yes, you saw Bill open up a can of whoop ass. You did. Yes, sir, he did. People yell stuff. Bill open up a can of whoop ass. You saw it right there. He was tighter than a hawk's ass in a power dive. Yes, sir. And Al, sweet Jesus, Al, you were possessed. People low. People throwing down their crutches, going, I believe Alpha. People walking forward, going, Yeah, sweet power, sweet power. So much for that charisma bullshit, huh? <laughs> Woo! Even Stevie Wonder's backstage going, I hear good things. <laughs> things are going well. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Got the spirit. Lenny got everybody moving. Even the people in the $500,000 seats are going, oh yeah, I got to move now. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Thank God for that barbecue. Let it out. <laughs> Woo! Works through you quick. That's an e-ticket, boy. Come on through barbecue. Designed to turn your lower track into a fun ride. <laughs> Folks down here had that special barbecue, that, you know, spa-raised chicken. That Kevorkian chicken took its own life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People up there in the deep seats, God bless you. People up there in the bungee seats, good luck to you. <laughs> Woo! Here at MCI, if you see the people here with the little headsets on, they're not on a mobile phone. They're actually Secret Service. Or as Dan Quayle said, who's the cute little deaf girl? Sorry, sir, she's Secret Service. <laughs> mobile phones, you see them all over. These guys have them. They're actually protecting. But sometimes if you can't see them, you see people walking around the streets in Washington, New York, going, yeah, oh, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, fine. They have a little headset in. Even a homeless guy it makes them look like they're out of their goddamn mind. You see people going, yeah, sure, oh yeah, go to one, go to one, yeah, okay, okay. Homeless guy's going, that's my act! Pretty soon they'll be implanting them internally, so eventually they'll be going, yeah, hold on, yeah, oh yeah, I got the call, yeah, one second, yeah, yep, hold on, I got call waiting, yeah. Wait a minute, I'm getting a fax. Okay. That's why we're here, here at MCI, MCI, MCI! That's all right, little mobile phones go off. They have little symphonies like ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I want one that just goes, it's mine, I'll get it. <laughs> MCI, this is the name of your big uh, stadium here. Used to have the Bullets, kind of a rough name for a team. Yeah, unless you're gonna be sponsored by Smith & Wesson, not a good name for a team. Welcome to Smith & Wesson Stadium. It's Kevlar night, come on down. Instead, you're the Wizards. That's true, no one's ever walked into a 7-Eleven saying, give me the money or the bitch gets turned into a frog. No one has ever done that. But here in Washington, he mentioned the NRA, basically recently you even had a shooting at the Washington Zoo. Even the bears are going, bullshit, man! I thought I was safe! God, and then there's a... Then all of a sudden, the next thing is you have the dyslexic wing of the NRA. We have to arm bears. The right to arm bears. What is Charlton Heston going to do then? There's poor Charlton Heston going, guns don't kill people. Apes with guns kill people. Don't you see that? And the NRA is opening a wonderful cafe in basically in downtown Manhattan, what they've called an interactive firearm experience. For every place else in the country, it's called drive-by. <laughs> but your waiter will be going, I'd like to take you to your table. Get down! Here are specials, a 38, 45, a little oozy for the kids. Good luck, enjoy the meal. Because it comes down to basically the whole First Amendment thing, you know, it started off, Second Amendment, sorry, First Amendment, people are going, that allows you just to say shit. I know that. Basically, it allows that in that time they wrote it, it was passed by guys who had muskets, which was basically this. And this still continues. I don't know how. How do 
does that happen? At one point, they were asking to out to basically base sanction and say that armor-piercing bullets are okay for hunting. Why? Is there some kick-ass moose out there in Kevlar going, bring it on, baby? I don't care. Come on, bring it on. Take your chance. And after that, you're mine. I'm on, pretty boy. Take off the orange coat. Let's talk. They came up with a recent statement that said, guns save lives. And I guess the other part of that argument, condoms kill. Okay. What? But that's all right. We're here tonight, dear friends. We are here tonight. Got a power in the feeling. We're here tonight. Well, basically, we got to continue. It's, uh, I just want to say, Newt Gingrich is getting married. And if you want to buy him a gift, he's registered at Krispy Kreme. So, don't be afraid. Get on down there. I sent him a box of Viagra. He took it, he just got taller, so. I don't know what happened. God. Damn, this is a big place. Dear sweet power, this is huge. It's the type of place where Martha Stewart could do gladiator. Look at this. Hail Maximus. Maximus sounds like feminine protection. Maximus, all day. If you look closely at, at basically the movie Gladiator, in some of the scenes in the Roman Senate, you can actually see Strom Thurman. He's back there. Looking like a baby bird. Does someone take me up front now? I'm gonna talk to people right now. I'm gonna tell people right now. I'm afraid now, I ain't gonna be people. Every time I see Strom and Jesse Helms, I feel like the little kid in the sixth sense. I don't know why. I just... I see dead people! Help me! You gotta be careful, those old boys. They hang in there a long time. And then you got Pat Buchanan uh, and the Christian Reich, right, you know what I'm saying. Oh, Pat, you know, I loved his book, but I really liked it much better than the original German. It was so much better. It's so hard not to go out there and say, Pat, sweet girl. And I guess the bottom line is we're here tonight because of the shrub. You know who I'm talking about. George W. Bush, Jr., the W stands for where the hell is it? You know, you look at George W. and you realize some men are born great, some achieve greatness, and some get it as a graduation gift. So sad. I just want to ask the Secret Service, is it true that his Secret Service code name is Gilligan? Is that really true? Gilligan's on the move, little buddy. Keep going. It's always frightening to me. It's, uh, you know, basically, I, I hate to see him in a debate keep asking if he could use his lifeline. No. You can't call your dad. Not gonna do it. Can't tell you. Can't help you now. I know, don't know, don't know. Can't see it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna, yeah, good, 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 boy. Get out there. Go. Just run for office. God, not the brightest bulb on the tree. Just go. So frightening. I don't want to see him in charge of the economy. Basically, it's like giving O.J. a Benihana. No. No. I'm afraid of the cuts. You know what I'm saying? It's a frightening combination. The poor boy in the ass to Mr. Bush. Have you ever done cocaine? Uh, well, 15. No. 20, 25, 20, 27. Yeah, that's it. Really? What is that about? You'll be in the White House. White House! Shh, I'm sorry. It's all right. You have to realize that. It's a frightening man. But that's it. I just want somebody in charge of foreign policy who actually knows the country he's talking about. That's basically it. You know, today was a big day. They passed a lot of heavy-duty legislation. Also, I just want to tell Hillary, or the artist formerly known as the First Lady. I just want you to know Dan Quayle is running for the New York Senate. The problem is he moved to New Jersey. 
I don't know. He was hoping for the commuter vote and... Damn it, boy. Come on, boy. Hey, this is my son. I'm gonna mix him up. Come on now, son. Every so often you look at those guys and go, Darwin was wrong. I don't believe you. Work with me. Today, big foreign policy day, they, they basically passed through the House, the Chinese foreign relation bill. I know, it's very difficult. I know, pretty soon they'll be at Disneyland in Shanghai. There will be characters like Mickey Mouse. And you will swim up the Yangtze River and hear, it's a third world after all. It's a land of need, compensate with greed. You can buy the stuff, but you have to feed. Wait, hold on, you're scaring me. <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi once said, they asked him, Mr. Gandhi, what do you think of Western civilization? And he replied, I think it is a wonderful idea. <laughs> and basically from that, many years later, India has detonated seven nuclear devices, Pakistan has detonated seven nuclear devices, and the CIA found out by reading the papers, and this is not a good sign. You must be very careful now. Do not piss off anybody, do not be going, what are you doing? I don't make me angry. No more Mr. Nice Gandhi, no more Skinny G, I am pissed off. So here's the deal, put it out there, homie. I'm strapped and going to do something. But you see, the one thing I worry, but I don't worry about, is Jamaican's, or Jamaica's atomic energy program. Yes, man, I'm not worried about that Jamaicans are developing an atomic bomb. No, man. The Jamaicans would make the atomic bong. Yes, man. I tell you now, baby, the atomic bomb goes off. There's all sorts of devastation. The atomic bomb goes off. The smoke, it clears. Everybody's hungry and dancing. <laughs> Oi, and I be wondering out again, man. Oi, that's the one. But you'll be safe, because you got a president who don't inhale. Oh, man. Put it out that way. We're going to get busy now. How much you give me if I dive off the stage right there? <laughs> right into the posh pit. Woo! Be picking jewelry off me for days. There's people down there wearing jeans, but they're also wearing them damn expensive Tony Lama boots. You know the ones made from alligator foreskin? If you can get that close. You got yourself some good eating, I'll tell you, boy. So be careful. Oh, there's... Hello. <laughs> There's a child in the front row. We've learned some new words, haven't we? <laughs> Whoa. I guess Uncle Robin won't be talking about the colonoscopy tonight. Be careful. It's a very dangerous thing. Little video camera on the hand of a roto rooter. Don't do it. I'm 48 years old. They do that now. It's like, whoa. You get very frightened. What's that? It's a hamburger you had in 85. And then they blow air, which is so nice, too. I'm sure there's farts going, incoming! My photographer friend's down here. How are you? Oh, leaving? Wait, don't be afraid. Hey! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, ma'am, sir. Secret Service, they're not allowed to move. I'm sorry. Well, you know, thank you for letting me come up here today in just a few minutes. Um, initially, I couldn't work it out in my schedule, but when Janet Reno showed up with those INS people, I worked it out. <laughs> Damn. It's amazing what happens when they kick down your door and go, Move it! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll dance for the man. <laughs> Damn, this is one huge ass place. <laughs> Woo! I know. Damn. This is like hang gliding in the Grand Canyon. Oh, God. 
Al, do you actually have a Palm Pilot on you right there? It's so nice. Al Gore still got his little Palm Pilot going, I have to keep working. You know, I invented the internet. Come on. I did. I invented it. And I tell you, I made the first phone. No, oh, come on. The first phone message. Hi, this is Alexander Graham Bell. I can't get to the phone right now because I'm on the other end. You have to be careful. The internet is out there. It's an amazing thing. Good night, sir. Thank you for coming. At $500,000, he's going, fuck you, I'm out of here. <laughs> Good night. Take care. Oh, my God, I've pissed off Henry Kissinger. <laughs> I know where you live. Remember that. <sighs> the Palm Pilot is an amazing thing. I've actually, now with the whole internet stock crash, it's been rough because you'll see people by the freeways going, we'll work for a website. And there's some homeless guy going, yeah, I got a Palm Pilot. Here it is, my little Mary Palm Pilot, I'll tell you. Right there, yeah, look, I got mail. Yeah, it's an expandable file, too, I'll tell you. I know that's the shot they'll use in the Washington Post. Yeah, right, uh. But yet, yeah, whoa, sorry. Post trap. Sorry, the Pope is blessing you. Every time I see the Pope in the Pope Mobile, I just want to put a few bingo balls in there with him. That, for me, would be a great idea. This is the best thing we do. Are they ready for me? I've been... This is it. Hold on one second. We're just going off stage. What does this mean? Oh, oh go on. Or... You're in good shape? Are there... What? Have I got more time? Oh, sure. <laughs> Thank you, dear. This is amazing. If you do get heckled, it sounds like... Seven. Hey, hey. Welcome to Custer's, a casino that cares. Well, I think you're ready to bring out Missy, are you not? Is it time? Is it ready now? I've been like a sorbet. I've kind of cleaned their palate. Well, boss, I think it's time. I'm going to go out now. You take care of the Martha Stewart stuff here. She's hanging out with Puff Daddy, or she calls him Puff Pear. Whoa, thank you. I'd like to bring out a woman right now who's just going to carry on the tradition of this evening because we are having a damn good time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You raising some cash because, Uncle Al, you have got to beat the shrub. There is no bad thing about it. Come on now, son. If you keep that shit you had going tonight, you got the power, Alphas. You got a spirit. You had the power to tonight. Al Gore, you gonna move on. Ladies and gentlemen, Missy Leanne Rams. <laughs> 